Welcome back to another episode of Bermanology on Letterman Row. I am your host, Jeremy Birmingham. You can call me Berm. With us today is Troy Stellato, who is, I think, the hottest recruit in the entire country right now, right? I mean, what a wild yeah, what a wild few yeah. weeks for you. Yeah, that, that's what um kind of people are saying. Um yeah, it's been a crazy it's been a crazy last uh, few weeks for me, um, with the recruiting process and just how everything's really taken off. Um yeah, it's truly a blessing, and um, I'm just enjoying the process right now and taking everything slow. This kind of started, I guess, about three weeks ago. Ohio State offered. Yeah. That was the culmination of a of a almost year long plus relationship between you and Keenan Bailey, the assistant receivers coach at Ohio State, and Brian Hartline. Mm-hmm. Can you just for our readers and, and listeners and watchers, and we, we, you know, we cover Ohio State, so let's be upfront with that. Yeah. What was it? that Ohio State told you when they said, hey, you know what, Troy, we've seen enough uh, of you that we don't need to wait anymore. We're going to offer. What was it that made them finally pull the trigger? Um, Kind of these uh, these first couple games, they just kind of wanted to, I, I guess, see me back it up my season last year and just see a little more of um, kind of me using my speed more and just certain little things. And um, the, the, the thing that I'm really, I think, doing good right now in the first part of the season is um yards after catch and uh that I'm t- I've, I've taken a lot of a lot of uh ca- short passes to the, the distance and um they've really they really took took uh they really really like that because they they I mean that's huge speed's huge you know in uh the next level and in football so I mean speed kills so um I think I think that that main purpose that purpose right there that I'm and I was just kind of it, it, on the similar uh, path uh, as I was last year, so it was. Uh, they they know the type of player I really am. You know, so up. after Ohio State offers, you go out there the next day in Penn State and Florida offer, and mm-hmm. then it's Georgia, Alabama, Clemson. I think the New England Patriots offered. <laughs> like, what what? What goes through your mind when that happens? Like, is is there like a pinch me phase? Is there like a holy crap? I can't believe this is going on. Like, how do, how do you how do you allow yourself to enjoy that, but also mm-hmm. not get like I don't know. I mean, like arrogant about it. Um, I mean, it's you're getting all the top schools in the country, so it's for sure. For you're you're for sure. It's a pinch but pinch yourself moment. I mean, it's something you dream of when you're a kid. I mean you work to get to this point. I mean, you work to get offered by the best schools in the country. That's what, that's what really, that's what really strives, strive. That's really what I work for the most. And now it's just going to be keeping and maintaining and getting better. So I can be one of those guys at the next level too. So, I mean, this, I mean, getting off offered by Alabama, Clemson, Ohio state, Florida, all these schools, it is a pinchy moment, but I mean, you kind of, this is reality now. For right. me, it's not. It's reality now. So, um, I know. I knew. I always. I've always kind of had this talent. I've worked. I've worked to get to this point. So, it's kind of. It's kind of something I expected to be honest. Just because I. I put in so much. So much time and effort into this, and this was what I was expecting, and this was the goal, and um, I've reached that so far. But um, definitely still hungry. I want to prove everyone that. I can be even better, and I'm. I've still. I still have. A, I've always had a chip on my shoulder a little bit, just with, with every with the game, and I thought I'd been overlooked, and now, I mean, I still have a chip on my shoulder. I want to prove to everyone that I can be one of the best receivers in the country. So, as fans who follow Ohio State recruiting are watching this and listening to this, I, I have no doubt that they're going to the internet and looking up Troy mm-hmm. Stellato, and they see all those offers, and then they see three star right and they see yeah they see star, okay. they see the 80th ranked wide receiver in the country yeah and i i know how the rankings work i know it's sometimes political sometimes it's mm-hmm. totally subjective based on where you've camped who you've camped for camped with mm-hmm. have you heard from the people in charge of those rankings yet that have said hey psst, by the way we, we have to completely redo this or, or what, yeah, have, what yeah. have they been saying uh, yeah rivals at 247 is like don't I mean, they're they're kind of like this isn't your ranking kind of thing. Like, we're just the next update. You'll be you'll definitely get a shoot. Uh, you'll skyrocket just because of. I mean, I I was over like that's that's some of the things I feel like I was overlooked going in the season. Um, I was definitely really 
honor to get ranked and stuff, but I I think I'm a better player than that, and I think I'm proving uh, to everyone and to the whole country that uh, I, I think I'm one of the best receivers in the whole nation. So I that's I just put in the work to 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 get here. I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything sure. or confident or anything, but I I just know how much work I put into this, and um, I mean it's just. But it, it puts a chip on your shoulder seeing that and um, seeing all the guys kind of in front of you and everything and it makes me work makes me work even harder. So honestly, I, I I'm happy that I got that ranking because it made it made me work even harder and I think um hopefully it'll improve. But if I mean because if, if you were over if you were at St. Thomas Aquinas instead of Cardinal Given, yeah, you would have. Do you believe that that would have been changed earlier? Probably. I mean, probably. I mean, St. Thomas just has that. I mean, they're St. Thomas. Um, they have kind of, they're kind of that program down here in Broward County, where we're from. That's the so-called top-notch program in Broward County, kind of thing. Uh, there, it's kind of the. I mean, it's one of the best. They're, I, I, they're ranked one of the best sure. in the in the country. So reputation I mean, matters, sure. I guess. I mean, it, yeah, it's where you come from. Reputation obviously matters. Yeah, if I'm if I was doing, I mean, if I was doing at St. Thomas, I think no doubt I'd be I'd be high four star um, player kind of thing but um I mean I'm not and uh I mean I think I, mean, I think I mean they're taking notice now uh but it's just gonna take some time it's it obviously it's ta- it's been taking time so um I just gotta, I'm, I'm just staying patient I'm not too I'm not too worried too much too really worried about um all stars and everything yeah they're great I mean you want I mean you want to be a four or five star crew like I mean you want that it's it's a I mean it's really uh it's an accomplishment, it's, and it's really cool to have and stand for, I guess. But I don't really look at it too much. Um, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, the colleges, at the end of the day, they don't—they don't care what star you are. They look at your film, and they know the type of player you can be and what you can bring to the table. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the metric it, it changes, right? Because yeah. here you are, you're a three star. You're a three star because you don't have offers from places like Ohio State, Clemson, yeah. and Alabama. Then you um, get them, and all of a sudden you're a, a higher ranked player even though you're the yeah. exact same guy you've always been yeah so let's it's circle of, yeah, back weird, but, um, it is weird but it, it's, it's, how, it's that's how it goes yeah just for, how it goes, for sure so you made in the last six months three different visits to ohio state you were there yep. in april you were there in june and you were there this past weekend uh, when ohio state played michigan state how mm-hmm. is the relationship with coach hartline with keenan bailey with ryan day how has that evolved in these last few months and you know, I, I, w- I believe, and I think just what I gleaned from previous conversations between you and I, that mm-hmm. if Ohio State had offered you in June, I'm a, yeah. I believe that there's a chance you would have committed then. I could, um, I could be wrong. I mean, I was definitely really considering it, to be honest. I was, I felt, I, I just felt at the time, I mean, that they were the dream offer and that why wait on anything else kind of thing. But um, I mean, I, it's no no discredit to them. Um, I love all those guys over there. I love them a lot. I mean, they're really good. They're really good people, and they're really good coaches. Coach Hart, Coach Key. Um, I love Coach Day. I love them all. They're all great coaches, and um, I have a great relationship with uh, all of them. And I mean, I don't know if you could say I would have committed right. if they offered me in June, but. I would have been. I obviously would have really thought of it, and it, and it would have been a possible, a huge possibility. Um, if I'm being completely honest, but it just. I mean, it just made me realize. I mean, after I got Ohio State, uh, that, that kind of took off my recruiting process and everything. Sure. So there's just it's there's a lot of other schools out there. Obviously, there's so many other schools. So you kind of want to just. I realize there's no really no rush to commit. I mean. There's not, there's not really a rush. I want to see everything and see what every school has to offer before making that decision. So, um, maybe, maybe, I mean, in G- I was really high, really super, super high. I obviously really wanted them to offer me. I was a little, little not not disappointed, but a little I mean, discouraged that I didn't get it in uh, June. A bit, I think that big big factor was because I got on, I read it up rolling my ankle right. at the at the camp workout yeah. at the workout thing where um. I, where they where they were planning on offering me, I think, and um, it just didn't. I mean, I actually gone. think. Try to interrupt you. I think that the yeah. way that you bounced back 
from that injury that day. Yeah. And I, I was there that day watching, and mm-hmm. you were you were really, really good. Mm-hmm. And I think the way that you fought through that to continue competing that day was probably one of the things from people I talked to around the program that day that yeah. that impressed them the most about you. Yeah, so, they loved that, yeah. I, 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 I'm curious, does the fact that they were – involved in your recruitment earlier than other schools and even though they hadn't offered they sort of identified you a while ago yeah does that sort of give them an edge now that everyone has offered yeah for sure um they 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 believed in my talent um before everyone else they they reached out i mean before they were the first i mean the first really really big time right big time school that reached out before anyone else so I definitely am uh, really grateful for that. And um, they built a relationship with me early. They were the, really the first school that I really got to know and build a relationship with all, all those, those coaches over there. And, um, yeah, I mean, I guess they, they, they always knew what my talent was, and they, they just wanted to see a little more. They, yeah. they, had, no doubt, they had no doubt that I was going to show it to them. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, I mean, that, that'll def- that's – I mean, it's an edge. I mean, I, I, that's what I, that's a big part of what I love about them and everything. And, um, yeah, me coming back in that, uh, at that camp, I just want to, I just want to prove to everyone. I mean, I just want to prove to them that I, I'm, a. this just, that's how my mentality is. I'm really hardworking and I'm not going to let anything really stand in my way. Well, let's fast forward to, everybody. let's fast forward to the, the visit for the Michigan State game, mm-hmm. the dream school, right? The first yep. time you've been there for a, a game, a, a real mm-hmm. game, not a spring game. What was it like walking out of that tunnel for that first time and seeing the hundred and five thousand people? Like, was that like a, a wow moment for you, or or how do you exp- how do you how do you really go home and explain that to people who weren't there? It was definitely. I mean, watching w- walking out in the shoe like that and seeing all those people and just it's just a really a surreal moment. I mean, you look you look up and see all those fans and you dream. That's something you dream about. You dream about playing in a stadium like that. That's one of the biggest stadiums in the country and in, in the in the world. So I mean, just just I mean I, I don't even know how to, you can't even like describe it without just to other people without just saying it's it's one of the coolest things you could honestly yeah. could have experienced to be honest. Just playing and playing in front. Of, I couldn't even imagine playing, let alone walking out and seeing all those people like playing in a stadium like that. And I mean, just seeing all those seeing one hundred five thousand people just watching you play. It's just totally like it's a pinch yourself moment. Um, just uh, this is, I mean, you dream about playing playing in a stadium like that and playing for a team like that one day. You have obviously seen the the list of receivers that Ohio State has committed in twenty twenty. Yep. Y- you know who they're targeting in twenty twenty one. What does it mean to you to be on that short list? Because I I, I think that. Again, your relationship with their, with those coaches, I, I, I assume that they've done a pretty good job detailing you the, the plan and, and how you f- stack up. What, is it, what does it mean to you to have that sort of opportunity in front of you? And I guess, wh- where do you go from here? I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but what's mm-hmm. the next step for, for you in this process? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely, I mean, Ohio State, they don't, they don't recruit, um, not like all these other schools that are going to off throw around 20, 25 offers to receivers and hope to get some of them. They're going, they're shooting out minimum offers and they're expecting to get probably, I think half, I mean, half of the guy, they don't offer a lot of people. It's really hard to get an Ohio state offer. I mean, I worked, I mean, I I was talking to them for about five, six months before I got offered. So it takes, they really do, they go through their background checks and they really, really identify each prospect on, I mean, who they are off the field, and who, mainly who they are off the field, too. And, I mean, and they really look into each player. And if you're being recruited by Ohio State and you have an offer from Ohio State, that's that's the real deal. I mean, it's 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 not like any – it's not like a lot of these other schools. If they're going to offer you, they really believe in you and um, they really believe in your talent and everything. And you're, you're on a – you're on a list of a very, very short list with not a lot of names right. for my position. So uh, it's truly a blessing that I could be one of those, one of those guys. And um, yeah, I mean, loving it. So I know you're in no hurry to make a decision. I know you want to make sure you check out Clemson and check. Yeah. You've already gone to Alabama this season. I'm sure there's a few other schools on that short list that you want to make sure you hit up before 
you really dial this all back and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for. But mm-hmm. are there one or two things that you're like, okay, this is what a school has to have. In an ideal world, when do you want to have your recruitment finished? Um, in an ideal world, probably, I mean, probably before my senior season, to be honest. Um, just go into the season, uh, committed somewhere, and um, not worrying about all the all the buzz around it, and just focusing on my last seat, my last um, high school year before um, right. I, got, I play college. So that's the ideal time. I'm not saying. I mean, it could go to signing day. Like I'm not like. Right. I'm not saying. Um, I'm not saying that that's the time I will commit. But I mean, in a perfect world. I mean, now that's the time I'm, I'm I'm shooting for. I'm looking at, but I mean, if I don't have a decision made up, I'm not going to rush this. This rush this. It's a this is a big decision. I'm not right. looking to do looking to commit somewhere and then decommit. Like when I commit, I'm a, I'm a thousand percent committed to that school, and I'm shutting down my my recruiting process and not change the phone number. Yeah, de- deactivate yeah. the Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just focused on them and focused on um, the next chapter in my life. So. I mean, going, yeah, probably, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, right now, I'm I'm probably, I mean, the offense is going to be a huge factor in my decision, what quarterback's there, um, I mean, all that stuff, uh, but um, in an ideal world, probably, I mean, before my senior year, but, uh, I mean, it could, it could extend out to signing day, it could extend out in the middle of the season, I don't even know, but um, I, don't, I haven't really thought too, too much about it. What's the next but, visit you're taking? Probably Clemson. Okay. Probably gonna go, I'm probably gonna go up to Clemson um, in a couple weeks. Then they play Wake Forest, so that'll, that'll be probably be my next visit. Well, look, man, I really appreciate you taking time. I know that uh, you're a busy guy. I know your phone's been ringing off the hook and all that stuff. So, uh, Letterman Row readers, watchers, myself, we all thank you for taking this opportunity. To continue uh, with what you're doing. Good luck in your state championship run, and uh, we'll thank hopefully you. get a chance to catch up with you again soon. For sure. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me. No problem. Thanks, Troy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Q with Zach Bourne. For sure. we got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.